to pathology by ranjit yeah this is dr ranjit so i am going to have a today a quick discussion of one of the slides which i have put in the hematology uh, digital slides access for all of you guys so the ultimate aim is to create content like this where you will be able to have the digital slides for your own and also a guidance on how to approach these slides right so you can see there's a bone marrow aspirate you can see the particles here right i go through yeah there's one more big particle here there's a particle here and particle here right I am not going to comment on the cell art here because I do have a bone marrow biopsy as well. I am sure that you know that biopsy is the better way to comment on the cell art than on the aspirate. Though in the introduction videos I have given you a brief uh, input of how to identify the cell art in the aspirate also. If you missed that and if you are having the residency program, please go and have a look at it. Right. So now let's go and look at it. The trails are decent. I won't say it's very very good, but yeah, a decent trail. And let's zoom in a little bit. You can see that you do have good amount of hematopoietic cells here. Okay. I, I actually know the diagnosis so I can actually pinpoint on what I'm looking at but I just want to swim through and see all the lineages then come to the diagnostic lineage right if I zoom a little bit more little bit more what you're predominantly seeing here is see whatever you're seeing here whatever you're seeing here is actually the myeloid lineage granulocytic lineage right the erythroid per se is less we have a plasma cell here we have yeah, might be an erythroid but most of them are myeloid lineage right so when you have like 100 cells approximately i should have at least one third of them close to approximately one third of them being erythroid but i'm not seeing that in this case right so i can fairly come to a conclusion that i do have erythroid but it's a bit less here i can have an erythroid hypoplasia in this condition right this is one of the characteristic finding of the disease what we're going to discuss at right then there's one more characteristic finding of the disease which is these guys what are these cells the largest cell in the entire bone marrow spread i'll just zoom out so that we can look at more of them is your megakaryocytes right so if you look at the largest cell this is megakaryocyte here see those are very low power image but still you can pick up megakaryocytes so you you'll get used to it that's what uh, most important thing for us is to see more and more slides right so when you go and see more and more slides you get used to i have megakaryocyte here i have megakaryocyte here i have megakaryocyte here you can easily pinpoint them even in a very low power image look at this megakaryocyte here 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 I'd have something here as well, right? So wherever I look at the macrocytes, again in the normal bone marrow aspirate, I have discussed how a macrocyte will look. It's the largest cell with multi-lobated nuclei. But look at this, having a single lobe. That's something which is not true for macrocytes. Is it an incidental finding? Let me look at one more. I have one more macrocyte with a single lobe. So are we missing out on something? Like so here, what we are clearly seeing is whatever macrocytes we see. They are predominantly having single lobe. Look at this. There's a cluster here. Single lobe, single lobe, single lobe, single lobe. See here, single lobes, single lobes. There are almost like six of them we have seen in tandem, which is having a single lobe. So this is a dyspoietic element. So why did I say six lobes here is when I have a dyspoietic element, the percentage is very, very important to categorize conditions, right? I can fairly assume that here the dyspoise is definitely more than 10 percent right so i do have dispoils here which is easily more than 10 percent because almost every macrocyte we see here see one more here one more are having a unilobated one see one 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 right they're having a unilobated one and yes they're having a dyspoidic element or hypolobated i can call actually it's a unilobated or i can call hypolobated as well right wherever you see macrocytes they are less in number this is one thing so let me go to the biopsy also and let's have a look whether whatever we discuss right or not this is the same person's bone marrow biopsy I would say fairly hypercellular bone marrow biopsy. Yeah, a little bit of variable cellularity, but most of the space is having hypercellular. A patient with a 55 year old, this is definitely hypercellular for that matter, right? Cellularity is always the best determined on the biopsy. Aspirate, yes, I can do to some extent, but biopsy gives me the adequate, perfect cellularity assessment, right? Let's go and zoom in, into it. What am I seeing here? Here also, it same reiterates the point that I am not seeing much of erythroid. I do see erythroid, but there's ma majority myeloid here, right? At the same time, Look at this guy. Monolobated. 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 I am repeating the thing monolobated, right? So wherever you are seeing macrocytes, see mechs are easily seen in and around the sinuses. Again a single lobe. 
a single lobe a single lobe when it's a monolobated macrocyst sometimes it becomes difficult to identify from other cells because generally macrocysts we have that big cell with multiple lobes right so monolobated macrocysts can be missed so you can have a bilobation here you have a monolobated here please look for the abundant cytoplasm surrounding the cell that's what helps me to differentiate the monolobated macrocysts from the other maybe immature myeloid uh, series also might have almost equal size of nucleus when you look at the nuclei okay decent leg was but the cytoplasm makes a difference here is a monolobated macrocyst right so wherever you're seeing here you're seeing classical monolobated macrocyst this brings us to the diagnosis the diagnosis is i'll reiterate few points here you have dysplasia significant dysplasia in the microcryocyte lineage and the dysplasia is definitely more than 10% we had quantified it and the dysplasia here is hypolobated and predominantly monolobated macrocyst right this is an expert from who look at this what they are ta talking the bone marrow is usually normal to hypercellular yes we had exhibits erythroid hypoplasia we did have mechs are increased in number normal to decrease in size just yes, consequently monolobated or hypolobated nuclei all of them all of them are classical for one finding mds with monosomy 5q so this is the essential and diagnostic criteria again this is from who see we look at one by one criteria i don't have information about anemia uh, in this case but yes if you had the cbc value there was anemia there was cytopenia in this patient so this is sorted for me dysplasia was there in macrocytes without without dysplasia in other lineages we didn't focus on much about other lineages but yes dysplasia was significant in macrocytes blast were less in the bone marrow as well in the peripheral blade and the detection of 5q was done in this patient a chromosome analysis was done and we did focus on the uh, 5q we did find out the 5q duration right so all these pointers be it the essential criteria of the WHO or be it the histological image of the WHO or the bone marrow biopsy or the bone marrow aspect. Everything points to only one thing. It's a myelodysplastic syndrome with deletion of 5Q. Right? That's a classical diagnosis. I hope we'll be able to focus on more and more cells of this uh, category and, and we will learn more together. And I want you to do one thing. Once you've seen the video here, maybe later on, don't look at my video. Look at the aspirate your cells and see how to identify them that's what is about revision you memorize these things in the brain it's a photographic memory and i'm sure if it comes in your exams or in your real life patients you will definitely identify them see you soon in the next video till then bye bye from dr